Welcome friends with this question and answer session we will try to understand the concepts of environmental monitoring in pharmaceutical industry we will try to cover the points like personal air and surface monitoring we will start with very basic question first very basic question is what is environmental monitoring or em in pharmaceutical industry answer is environmental monitoring involves assessing and controlling the cleanliness and sterility of the manufacturing environment the monitoring typically focuses on critical parameters like air quality temperature humidity and cleanliness reference for this information is iso 14644-1 what are the key components of an environmental monitoring program personal monitoring air monitoring surface monitoring and utilities monitoring are the key components of an environmental monitoring program this one is basic important and frequently asked question question is what is the significance of viable and non viable particle monitoring and what is the difference between them answer is viable particle monitoring detects living microorganisms or organisms while non viable particle monitoring system is for total particulate contamination the difference between viable and non viable particle count now we will see first is viable particles these are referred to living microorganisms or organisms that are capable of growth and reproduction these includes bacteria yeast mold and other microorganisms now we will see non viable particles these are inert and non living particles that do not have the ability to grow reproduce or metabolize they include dust dirt fibers and other particulate matter reference for this information is iso 14644 one more important question what are the common methods for monitoring air quality in the pharmaceutical industry basically there are two types of air monitoring systems first is active air sampling and second is passive air sampling first we will see about the active air sampling active air sampling involves actively drawing air or taking air into the collection device such as air sampler or impactor using pump or fan the air is then directed into the collection medium such as agar plates or filters this method is suitable for capturing the both viable that is living and non viable particles including microorganisms now we will see about the passive air sampling passive air sampling relies on the natural movement of air without any mechanical assistance a passive sampler typically an open dish or settle plate containing agar or other growth media is placed into the environment particles and microorganisms settle down naturally onto the medium over time passive sampling is primarily used for detecting viable particles example microorganisms Next question what is maximum permitted microbial contamination level during qualification of various grades such as grade A grade B grade C and grade D you can refer below table for maximum permitted microbial contamination level during qualification this table is from UGMP annex 1 that is manufacture for sterile medicinal products This is also very frequently asked question why only 0.5 and 5 micron particles are measured for NVPC or non viable particle count so answer for this question is during non viable particle count we measure only 0.5 and 5 micron particles because most of the commonly found bacteria are in the size range of 0.5 to 5 micron so this size range is the main source of contamination to the pharmaceutical product one more important question what is non viable particle count limit in various grades in the pharmaceutical industry you can refer below table this is also from the eu gmp annex 1 this is for maximum permitted total particle concentration for classification purpose when we should change settle plates exposed in the area for monitoring settle plates should be exposed for the duration of operations and changed as required after a maximum of 4 hours reference ugmp annex 1 point number 4.30 what are the different methods for surface monitoring in clean rooms there are commonly used 
three methods are there first is swab sampling second contact plates and third fingertip sampling one more question related to environmental monitoring question is what is the at rest condition and in operation condition the definition of at rest state is the condition whereby the installation of all the utilities is complete including hvac with the main manufacturing equipment installed as specified but not operating and without personal present in that room here it is important to note that area is with not operating and without personal present in that room second state is in operation state the definition of in operation state is the condition where the installation of the clean room is complete the hvac system is fully operational equipment installed and functioning in the manufacturer's defined operating mode with the maximum number of personnel present performing or simulating routine operational work reference for this information is ugmp annex 1 what are the touch plates or rodak plates you can see the below photograph to understand how rodak plates or touch plates are look like touch plates are also known as rodak plates and the full form of rodak is replicate organism direct agar contact these plates are a type of agar plates that helps to assess the level of microbial contamination on the various surfaces in controlled environments such as clean rooms manufacturing facilities and laboratories these are curved surfaces and while using these type of plates we need contact time between 5 to 10 seconds after sampling rodak plates are incubated as we know one of the sampling technique is swabbing sampling technique question is in which cases swabbing sampling technique becomes more useful you can refer the below photograph to understand how the sampling is done by the swabbing method swabbing is used for monitoring on surfaces that are not flat or in the area that are hard to reach after sampling these swabs are added into the tube containing sterile growth medium and incubated to check the contamination this is the type of qualitative test explain the method of liquid monitoring you can see the below photograph for understand the assembling of membrane filtration technique used for liquid monitoring in this technique fluid is filtered and collecting the microorganisms onto the filter membrane this filter membrane is then placed onto the growth medium and detection of contamination is done next question what is the working principle of unpc counters or non viable particle counting systems the principle of these type of instruments is the reflection generated by the particle on a laser beam source this type of instruments are very commonly used in the pharmaceutical industry it contains photocell and the laser beam is used for this purpose when the particle comes into the path of laser beam it creates the reflection and this is generated by the electrical pulse and detected by photo detector what should be the number of sampling locations to be tested the number of sample locations when certifying or validating the clean room is determined by the chart provided by or provided in the iso 14644 as below you can refer this table and along with the risk assessment we should identify the number of sampling locations in the clean rooms last and very important question which guidelines are referred for environmental monitoring in the pharmaceutical industry here are the five important guidelines that are referred for environmental monitoring first is good manufacturing practices gmp second ics guideline usp guidelines ema that is european medicines agency guidelines and world health organization that is who's guideline keep watching farmgo subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry